Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention to Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. In this passage, Jesus talks about the importance of a relationship, uh, perhaps differently than you and I really understand. Jesus talks about being uh, familiar with someone uh, rather, rather the difference of being familiar with someone and having a personal relationship. Sometimes we know who people are or we know of people. In the past I have said things like, yes I know that person, but in reality what I was saying was that I've heard of them but I don't have a personal relationship with them. So as a result of that I tried to change the way that I approach that by saying, yes I, I have heard that name or I am familiar with them, but then I may add I don't have uh, the, I don't know them personally I, to indicate that I don't have a personal friendship or relationship with them. There are things that we say sometimes. Uh, I may say that I know the President of the United States, but in reality, I know who the President of the United States is, but I do not know him personally, nor have I ever met him. And we do that often. In this passage, Jesus addresses this specific thing that I'm talking about. He says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Now, He's really speaking about how uh, the important, the mutual aspect of a relationship is. Jesus is saying, these people are familiar with me. They've used my name to do works in my name. They've uh, maybe even memorized scripture. Maybe they have read the Bible from cover to cover. As wonderful as that is, it doesn't make you saved. It doesn't mean that you have a relationship with Jesus. What means that you have a relationship with Jesus is that you have personal time with Jesus, and he knows you in return. An example, my wife and I have been married a long time. We grow closer together each day, and that is because we spend time together. We talk. We share our feelings with one another. We uh, know each other on a personal basis. And so when you say that you know someone, you're saying that I have a personal relationship with that individual, that we have a friendship. And uh, Jesus said in here that people will say the name Jesus. They will use the name Jesus to do wonderful works. It may be that we do service for others in the name of Jesus. It may be that we even attend church in the name of Jesus. But the question is, do we really have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? First, we must accept him as our Lord and Savior. And secondly, we must continue that by following up with that relationship, spending time getting to know him. He said in verse 23, after they've said all of these things to him about knowing him, about knowing of him, then he said, then I will declare to them, I never knew you. In other words, you may know of me, but we never had a relationship. You may say that you're my friend, but the truth is you've never introduced yourself to me. I don't know who you are. And so we find that as a result of this, he says his response will be, depart from me, you who work lawlessness. And think about the people that we approach in the course of a day. We sometimes find that we know the names or remember the names of people, but it doesn't mean that we have a relationship with everyone that we meet. And so I want to encourage you today to work on building your relationship with Jesus. These are the saddest words in the Bible. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And so today I want to encourage you to make sure that you demonstrate the importance of that relationship and let the Lord Jesus Christ know who you are by working daily to build that relationship between the two of you. Get to know him personally. And so today I would like to say this to you. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ loves you and I love you too. Let us pray. Father, we don't just want to know your name. We want to know you. 
And I pray today that you will work in our lives to demonstrate, to help us demonstrate that relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Until we meet again, my friends, God bless.